This video will demonstrate some of the rehabilitation exercises that can be done after a second degree ACL sprain. The goals of the exercises shown are to improve the range of motion, the strength, and the proprioception at the knee joint after the injury has happened. The ACL, or anterior cruciate ligament, is one of the ligaments that helps to stabilize the knee joint. Its main job is to prevent the femur from moving backwards off of the top of the tibia while weight-bearing. It also prevents the tibia from moving forwards from underneath the femur while weight-bearing. ACL injuries usually happen when jumping or pivoting and rarely happen from contact. Soccer is the most common sport for an ACL injury, although other sports such as volleyball, basketball, or tennis also have the athletes in a position in which they can be injured easily. Female athletes have more ACL injuries than male athletes do. A second degree sprain like the one we present here will result in a loud pop at the time of the injury and the athlete will be unable to walk off the field unassisted. The knee will also swell within four hours. The athlete will be in significant pain at the time of the injury. It is important to note that if there is any pain while doing any of these exercises, the athlete should reduce their range of motion so the exercise remains pain-free. After the injury, there will be pain on active extension of the knee as well as pain at the ends of the passive range of motion. These three exercises will all will help increase the range of motion. Other exercises that can be used are passive leg hangs, where the athlete lies on her stomach on a table or bed and allows her legs to hang in full extension, or seated leg extensions, which are shown later, as they can also help with strength. The first exercise is heel slides. The athlete places a scarf, towel, pants, or other long piece of fabric under her foot and sits with her legs in full extension. She pulls her leg into as much flexion as is pain-free, and then controls the extension of her leg. This exercise is entirely passive. It should be done twice a day, in the morning and evening, each time performing three sets of 10 repetitions. One repetition is up and then down. The second exercise is wall slides. The athlete lies on her back with her knees at 90 degrees and her feet on the wall. She uses her toes to pull her foot up the wall and then allows her foot to slide down as far as is comfortable. Again, this exercise is done twice a day, in the morning and before bed, and each time, the athlete is to do three sets of 10 repetitions, with one repetition being up and then down. The third range of motion exercise is recumbent cycling. The athlete adjusts the seat so her legs do not go into full extension. She should feel a gentle stretch and go very slowly. It is important to note that this is not a cardio exercise, but is used in this case to increase the active range of motion at the knee joint. At first, do 5-minute intervals with 2 minutes of rest between them. If this is comfortable, increase to 8-minute and then 10-minute intervals. After an ACL injury, all muscles around the knee joint must be strengthened. Although the strength of the calf muscles, the hamstrings, and the quadriceps must be improved, we present here a progression of three strengthening exercises for the quadriceps muscle. The first exercise is a quadriceps set. The athlete sits with her legs fully extended, then simply contracts her quadriceps. This exercise is isometric and can be done well in a cast or splint. The athlete should hold each contraction for a count of two. She should do three sets of 12 contractions, two times every day, in the morning and before bed. The second exercise is a seated leg extension. This exercise also improves the range of motion at the knee joint. The athlete, from a sitting position, extends her leg as far as is comfortable, then brings it back under the chair into as much flexion as is comfortable. At the full ext extension, she holds her leg for a count of two. This is to be done twice daily with three sets of 12 repetitions. The third strengthening exercise is a squat. There can even be a progression within the squats. The athlete starts by doing squats or even wall sits with her back against the wall, progressing to freestanding squats when she can go through the full range of motion against a wall pain-free. While doing the squats, it is important to ensure that the knees do not go in front of the toes, that the heels stay on the ground, and that the athlete keeps her body as upright as possible. When the athlete is just starting with her freestanding squats, she can do them over a bench or chair to provide a safety net if she falls backwards. The athlete should be doing three sets of eight squats per day, progressing to 12 and adding weight as she gets stronger. The third set of exercises is to increase proprioception. Proprioception is a sense of where your body is in space, and after an injury, this is decreased. Regaining proprioception will help avoid re-injury in the future. The first exercise is simply balancing on one leg. While it seems easy, it will be difficult on the injured leg and may even be difficult for the athlete on the uninjured leg. At first, the athlete can hold on to something to aid with balance. As she improves, she can stand free or wave her arms to reduce the balance. It is also very important to remember to do this on both legs, not just the injured one. This should be done twice a day while brushing your teeth in the morning and at night. 
The second exercise is to balance on one leg with your eyes shut. This is significantly more difficult and should be done when the athlete can stand on one leg with her eyes open comfortably for at least two minutes. Like the previous exercise, the f at first the athlete can do this while holding on to something. However, the goal is to stand for two minutes with her eyes shut. This exercise should also be done twice a day on both legs when brushing teeth. The third proprioceptive exercise is to do balance perturbation exercises on a BOSU ball. There are many ways to do this. In this example, the athlete is standing on the round side of the ball and catching a medicine ball. Variations include standing on the other side of the BOSU ball, doing squats on it, having a partner tap the athlete's shoulders to create perturbations, or moving their feet closer together. This should be done for three sets of one minute with 30 seconds of rest between the balance exercises. This should also be done daily. Oh, wow.